Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the solution to example 2 on buoyancy. And this is the problem. Two spheres, each 1.2 meters in diameter and weigh 4 kilonewtons and 12 kilonewtons respectively. They are connected by a short rope and placed in water. So what is, it, what is the tension in the rope? What is the buoyant force on the lighter sphere? And what portion in meter protrudes from the water? By the way, this question, these questions are questions in the recent civil engineer board exams. But the third question was the problem in one of our board exam, civil engineer board exam questions during my time. So, we do not know the situation yet. There is a possibility that both, both spheres will float. Another possibility is the heavier sphere is on the bottom portion. It's, it is totally submerged and the other one, the lighter sphere, floats. Only a portion of the lighter sphere will be submerged. And those are the possible situations. So let's compute the total, let's compute the buoyant force when the spear is totally submerged. So buoyant force when the spear is totally submerged is specific weight of water times volume of spear, which is 4 thirds by radius cube, and the radius is 0.6. So therefore, the buoyant force when the spear is totally submerged is 8.876 kilonewtons. And if we double this 8.876 kilonewtons, that means it is 17 point something kilonewtons, which is greater than the total weight of the two spheres, which is 4 plus 6 plus 12, which is only 16. And since 8.876 is less than 12, therefore the figure would be the lighter sphere is partially uh, submerged while the heavier sphere 12 kilonewtons is totally submerged. So that gives us the idea that the figure should look like this figure here. So to answer the first question, the tension in the rope, so let's involve now the buoyant forces. So BF1, let's call this BF1 which is equal to BFS 8.876 because this the heavier sphere is totally submerged then the buoyant force in the lighter sphere, we'll call that BF2. So for the first question, tension in the rope. So let's cut the rope, then uh, apply the tension. So that's the tension, and let's consider the three-body diagram of the lower sphere, or the heavier sphere. So in this three-body diagram, summation forces vertical equals zero so our equation would be tension plus 8.876 equals 12 or tension plus bf1 equals 12 where bf1 is 8.876 so therefore we can now compute the tension in the rope which is equal to 3.124 kilonewtons then the second question what is the buoyant force on the lighter sphere so let's draw the free body diagram of the whole system. So this is the free body diagram of the whole system. So our equation would be 8.876 plus BF2 equals 12 plus 4. So upward forces equals downward forces. So BFS or BF1 is 8.876 plus BF2. Buoyant force in the lighter sphere equals 12 plus 4. So from here, we can compute the buoyant force in the lighter sphere equal to 7.124 kilonewtons. Then what portion in meter protrudes from the water? So we're, we are asked to solve for this H sub E here in meter, the portion of the sphere that protrudes from the water or this height here. So therefore, we use buoyant force in the lighter sphere equals specific weight of water times volume submerged which is the volume submerged for the lighter sphere is a spherical segment of one base 
So the volume of spherical segment of one base is given by pi hs square over 3 quantity 3 times radius of sphere minus hs. So therefore BF27.124 equals 9.81 quantity pi hs square over 3 quantity 3 times radius of sphere 0.6 minus 8 sub s. So 7.124 times 3 divided by quantity 9.81 pi, that would be 0.69347, then hs times 3 times 0.6 is 1.8 hs square, or hs square times 3 times 0.6 is 1.8 hs square, then h sub s square times negative h sub s is negative h sub s cube. So rearranging h s cube minus 1.8 h s square plus 0.69347 equals 0. So this is a cubic equation with expected three roots. So using the calculator, the roots are the following, negative 0.5439 meter, 1.486 meters, which is absurd. This is an absurd value because the maximum value of HS should be the diameter of the sphere, which is 1.2, and this exceeds 1.2 meters. Therefore, the third root, which is 0.858 meter, is the only acceptable value of HS because this is less than 1.2. So finally, HE is equal to diameter of sphere 1.2 meters minus HS, which is 0.858 meter. So H sub E is equal to 0.342 meters. So that's it. This is the solution to this problem. I hope that you were able to follow the explanations and the solutions.